Hey guys, Mass here with a brand new Medal of Honor video. And I'm playing Sector Control on Kunar Base using the Special Ops class with the M4A1, Red Dot Sight, and Open Tip Ammo. And immediately I rush straight for the nearest sector, which in this case just happens to be C. At the start of every Sector Control match, it's very important that you, you know, quickly get at least two of the three sectors captured. So in this case, I quickly capture C, and I, I'm making my way over over to B at this point. And um, sector control is sort of like conquest from Bad Company 2, except instead of capturing flags, you capture sectors, and your team gets points for every sector they uh, keep control of. And the first team to reach uh, 1,800 points wins. So naturally, it's very important that you start off quickly uh, by getting at least two of the sectors captured. So at this point I've already captured two of the sectors and I've made my way over to the last sector which in this case happens to be A and I'm just mowing down some enemies um, that guy goes flying and it, I always try to stay aggressive when I play sector control I know a lot of people like the camp when playing this game mode and actually they like the camp just when playing this game in general but I never camp I'm, I'm constantly moving and it seems to work well for me Anyway, right here I rushed down this hill because the bottom of the hill is a spawn point and I just wanted to make sure no enemy had you know, spawned back there. You, you always want to uh, be aware of the spawn points because uh, it's never fun when you think you're in a safe location all of a sudden a couple enemies spawn right behind you. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you notice, I've been using uh, all the defensive support actions. Um, in this game, you, when you unlock a score chain bonuses, you have a choice between an offensive or a defensive uh, support action. So some of the offensive support actions are things like mortar strikes and missile attacks, and some of the defensive support actions are things like the flak vest and FMJ ammo. And you get a set number of points with the defensive support actions, whereas uh, with the offensive support actions, you only get the num you only get points for the number of kills you get. So I, I found in many si many cases I end up getting more points with the defensive support actions than with the offensive. And not only that, but the defensive support actions help your whole team. Uh, if you can you know unlock say the FMJ ammo and flak vest quickly, then all of a sudden your whole team can take more damage and they deal more damage. So suddenly your whole team is a lot more effective. Anyway, at this point, I was just trying to make my way down this right side to uh, get into a position to potentially recapture C. So at this point, I'm just looking around trying to find some enemies, and I managed to take an enemy out and get the cruise missile unlocked. So at this point, I just wanted to quickly retreat back to a safe location so that I could call in my cruise missile. Um, the cruise missile has a pretty large blast radius so you don't want to call it in too close to where you are otherwise you will uh, kill yourself um, so anyway I, I like to usually call in the cruise missile from that side of the map and <laughs> there we go get a nice explosion from it and quite a few kills um, I've called in quite a few cruise missiles and it, it definitely doesn't get old seeing that nice big explosion anyway so now that I called in the cruise missile I wanted to uh, Slowly make my way back over to sea, but I decided to pick up some ammo quickly first. And at this point, my team pretty much had the other team box boxed in by sea. And your team gets more points for controlling all three of the sectors. But if you control all three of the sectors, the enemies start spawning like all over the place, very uh, unmanageable. Whereas if you uh, retain control of just two of the sectors and keep the enemies boxed in on one side of the map. Um, I find that it's, it's oftentimes easier to win. So at this point, I, I knew that the enemies were over by sea, so I wanted to uh, slowly flank around this left side. And I was trying to get past this guy, but I wasn't able to, which just shows how narrow some of the, the routes are. So I'm able to loop around back here. Oftentimes the enemy snipers camping over here, but uh, in this case there were, there were no enemies here. But there were a couple enemies down there, and I was able to get the easy triple kill. Um, you can, as you can see right there, those defensive support actions are really awesome. Like I've, at this point, uh, match ammo, FMJ ammo, and armor piercing ammo, and I, I just cut through those three guys very easily. So uh, 
If you've been using the offensive support actions exclusively, I definitely recommend uh, checking out the defensive support actions. Anyway, at this point I saw that the enemies had uh, captured A, so I started making my way down towards A to recapture it, and I just barely managed to dodge that rocket. That would not have been fun getting taken out by that rocket. So I, I decided to play it safe and <laughs> go back towards C. And at this point one of my teammates was capturing C, so I just quickly jump in and uh, help him out. And that pretty much just seals the victory. Um, we get to win right here. Anyway, I end up going 27-0, and 0, a nice flawless game, and I got another cruise missile, which is always fun. And more importantly, uh, we got the win, and I ended up with a ton of points. Uh, if you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys.